G'day folks, welcome back to the Measure Twice Cut Once, uh, a DIY YouTube channel dedicated to all things uh, making and uh, this week taking you through will be myself Sumo from Sumo's Projects, I can be found on YouTube and Instagram and Well, something's happened, Chris. What? Knock on the door and all of a sudden enters one Ryan from Oz Sawdust Makers. G'day, mate. How you going? I'm good, mate. G'day, Clubber. G'day. It's great to be here. Great to meet you guys. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm just saying to Chris last week, I had a premonition something would happen this week. And I didn't know this was going to be the surprise, did you? No, I didn't. But if you're having premonitions, can you tell me the tax lotto numbers for next week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. tell you on Sunday. Because the lottery is when? Sun, Saturday? Saturday night. Yeah, we'll be right by Sunday. Okay, cool. <laughs> <coughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's a, a we welcome uh, Ryan here. Um, so, let's start with the beginning of the show as we always do. Mm -hmm. Big shout out going to our partner uh, to measure twice, cut once. That's um, Nathan from Hammeroo. Nathan from Hammeroo. He's, uh, he's been good to us in, uh, in the last season. He has. Gave us a $200 giveaway for um, one lucky winner. Mm -hmm. And um, also, we have a good show today. We do. We always have good shows. Yep. So, a um, little bit of... Uh, so, you can be found on the socials. Where? Yeah. On uh, YouTube, on uh, Instagram, on uh, Tinder. Twitter. <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> Yeah, I'm swiping the other way. Don't worry about it. Facebook, <laughs> all, all the usual ones. Yeah. Usual. I'm the same. YouTube yep. and all that. Um, Ryan, our special guest here. Where where can you be found? Because you're you're a bit of a socialite as well. Oh well, um, yeah. Look, I can be found on maybe not Tinder. <laughs> yeah, but well, <laughs> uh, but no. Look, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and. Yep. Yeah. I'm sort of everywhere. Pinterest. Do you get a lot of uh, mileage out of that? I don't. Uh, Pinterest is not so much a place for me to, you know, in, engage with others. Mm. It's a place to just go and, you know, set up an account and get inspiration. Okay. So, yeah, it's not like, uh, you know, people are going to message you and comment on projects or whatever, but it's one of the first places I go when I'm looking at, at making something, yeah, and I want to see some different design ideas. Um, Pinterest is great for that. Okay. It is, it is. Yeah, I must agree. We don't actually speak about Pinterest enough, Chris. It's no, we don't. You're right. Just another medium where you know a lot of good imagery, so you can mm. get some ideas doing that. Mm. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit of business we have to get over first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, if you don't mind, we've spoken about Nath. Yes, we have. Yes. We've uh, we've told everybody how good he is. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, we let everybody know that you've got to buy out everything in his store, so get online and, and do that. Yep. And what did we talk about last week? Necessity well, and fun. Yeah. Woodworking. Did you do your woodwork out of necessity, or you do it just for the hell of it? That's right. What about you, Ryan? With... Well, po probably a little bit of both now. I mean, I started woodworking for fun, but then could almost say out of necessity because... You know, I did it as a uh, distraction for my mental health, mm. you know, and as a way to, you know, get involved in something that yeah. took my mind off other things. Um, and now, of course, I've taken a full time. So it's necessity, but it's mm. still fun. How are you finding it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, there's a lot of things I'm still learning. Um, and, you know, even just sort of, workflow and, and ways to become more efficient and those sort of things. Funny you should mention that because that's our topic for today. Amazing. It is, isn't it? It's as if... <laughs> I'm not this. It's as if his premonition just started coming true. It's been written in the stars, the alignment <laughs> of the train winds. Uranus, that's right, yeah. yeah inter interstellar type connectivity. But there's, I, I take, um, there's one comment that always, or one saying that always comes into my head when people like you um, do what you do, and that's uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, he had his uh, one speech that he made, 
and he made the comment that you find something that you really love doing and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. And I think that applies so much, you know, to, to everything that you do. So you're doing it. Good to see. We're going to get into um, mm. our topic, which is uh, pen and paper versus... SketchUp com- or com- anything yeah. like that. Any computer-aided design. Yep, definitely. And um, like your contribution towards the subject and... Tell us a little bit, you know, extra detail that may, we may not know about you as well as we go in line, so... Yep. Let's get into it. Let's do it. All right, so, Chris, um, we try to find some good topics, and I think this is a really good one. Um, and we always suggest to, for the audience, too, to leave us some feedback yeah. to say, hey, hey guys, away. talk about this, and... Having a special guest on the show is um, just a, uh, raises a bar and you get some other input, another side of things, um, which, you know, we want to discuss today. So mm. how do we go about planning our work? How do we do it? Do we uh, illustrate it via pencil paper? Do you design something in, uh, you know, on the computer? Or do you do a uh, Dale from Mikey Woodworks and just off the cuff? Off the cuff, yep. So many, many ways to do things. So, you know, like, I'll probably, I'll, I'll start if you like. Well, I was just going to say that I real, I, um, I noticed that you, your partner just bought you a new set of crayons. So have you got a new project coming up? I have, I have, yep. It's, um, it's full steam ahead. Good. I'm going to melt the crayons and use it like an epoxy finish. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So without the resin, it should resonate well with, uh, you know, the misses. Get this all the time, Ryan. I don't know yeah. if you know. Well, I don't know if you know about Chris. He's an international man of stardom and wisdom. So, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, we t- we tend to um, you know re- uh, sort of bat off each other. Mm. But uh, no, I, I tend to use um, basically my measurements, and I write down measurements as a trusty rule. At, at times, I, I do try to trace something out. Obviously, you're not going to do it to scale, which um, is probably an advantage of using things like SketchUp, but I think, me personally, I get the idea because, you know, once the measurement's fresh, um, you can then go to a part of the house, say if it's for a home, in, inside your home, a project for there, and, and you can put the measuring tape out, you know, or right, maybe it's not best suited there, but you get your, your height, your length, your depth, and then you work around, am I going to put drawers in, how many drawers, uh, and you know the visuals here rather than having it on a computer, but that's worked for me. I've never needed uh, to have a computer program to show me that you know there's another way to do it. But Chris is quite the uh, Oxford scholar when it comes to learning, no. giving no no no. no. <laughs> well, you give things a go. You, you I'll give, give everything a red, red hot go. go. Yeah. yeah, I'll give it all a red hot go. Yeah, I um. I couldn't draw to save my life. If somebody put a gun to my head and said, draw this, I'm a dead man, right? So I was making a, um, a walk-in robe for a customer and it was one of those projects where I thought, if I don't get all the measurements and everything down pat, get it all, you know, 100%, I'm going to be wasting material, I'm going to be mm. wasting time, mm. I'm going to be wasting a lot of stuff, yeah? So I forced myself to learn SketchUp, all right? Now, for me, the learning curve started almost vertical. I couldn't even draw a box on there. And I was, uh, I, you can see I don't have any hair. I pulled out all my hair because I couldn't mm. make a box on there. But then I stuck with it yeah. and um, and it all just fell into place. It mm. all felt, it just became, the, the more you did it, the easier it got, which I think is true with everything. But yeah. uh, as, and now I, I, whenever I do so, I'm remodeling my garage now, I've got a, a SketchUp uh, diagram on there which I'm going to flash up on my video when I do it. Mm. So, yeah, SketchUp for me. I love SketchUp. There are other um, other programs you can use. There's like Fusion 360, um, uh, an old one, Corel Draw, AutoCAD. You can use those, you know, Yeah. if, if you want to go down that road. Yep, yep. Ryan? Well, I'm probably fitting in a little bit of every little column I don't use SketchUp only because I don't know how, but I really see the benefit. Yeah. And, you know, I envy those people who can jump into SketchUp and knock something out because, you know, to build off that is obviously, you know, very, very, you know, simple. As in, you're not going to be messing up your materials, you know exactly what you need and where everything goes. 
Um, I want to learn it, but it's just one of those other things on a long list of things mm. that I need to get across. Um, I mean, half the time I'll have a vision and just draw it out roughly yeah. and go from there. Other times I need to draw something that's quite close to scale because there's, mm. you know, bits that really confuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the time, even actually now with, with doing Craig videos, I find that I'm downloading plans from the Build Something website yep. and they can be half-half. Sometimes they're fully detailed SketchUp plans. Mm. Other times it's just someone who's like, now assembled the legs and it's like, what legs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's as much detail as it'll have, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'd really sort of do a little bit of everything. and But I, I definitely see the benefit of SketchUp. Yeah. For me, SketchUp was um, was an eye opener. It was it just made oh, life in general just a lot easier when I was uh, making something. Yeah. Even you know like simple. Um, I did a like one of those step stools that you make back in high school. You know the the five they call them a five board stool or something. Yep. I drew that up in SketchUp, and um, and I had all my measurements in there, and I I, um, I knew exactly how much material I was going to use. It was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. I, I think that, um, you know, when, when we're doing projects, sometimes we, as we mentioned, Pinterest or other sources, we quite often look for uh, the plans, don't we? Yeah. And they're, they're things that come in subscriptions to magazines on different projects, but basically, um, I think, you know, because we're visual creatures... And then we want someone else to do it for us. <laughs> that's that's as simple as it gets. But, but you know, like Chris is saying, it, it's a learning curve and things fall into place. And they do, don't they? They do. On the computer, you, you instruct it and it'll form that, it'll fill that space in, practically. Actually, somebody, uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, you make all your mistakes on the computer, yeah. so mm. you don't make them in the workshop. Yeah. You know, but sometimes, you know, I look at that, it takes, I reckon, some of the fun out of the woodworking. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes when you're in, in the middle of a project and you get to a point where you have stuffed up. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. If know, it's a paid yeah. project, then you want as little mistakes as... But if you're working off the cuff sometimes yeah. and you've cut a piece of timber and you go, oh, it's, you know, 100 mil short. Oh, well, let's do something else. Mm. I think that it, it takes the fun out of it sometimes. You know, if you've got a plan, it's 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 rigid. Then you know. You'd... Yeah. Well, obviously, that's not happening because this show is measured twice, cut once. Yeah. So we're we're all on the road to perfection. It's it's the autobahn of woodworking. You know. I'm not sure if you can use perfection and measure twice, cut once in the same sentence. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but another thing, like templates. Templates are a great thing if you. If you know you're doing a repetition uh, of a project, do you, do you draw up or do you make templates for it so you can easily trace to the next job you've got to make? I should, but you I should. don't. Yeah. And, yeah, that's uh, it's another thing, you know, in my uh, woodworking journey up to now, nearly everything I've made has been a one-off. Yeah. Now I'm at this point where I'm having to make it the, you know, fourth or fifth time. Yeah. And it's like, damn it. I should make I should make templates here, yeah, yeah. you know, and and that's something I'm looking uh, looking into doing. I've been uh, there's been, actually been some really good videos lately on YouTube uh, mm. about making templates. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're definitely the way to go. And yeah, mm. similar to SketchUp is something I know that I should be doing because yeah. I'd be able to save a lot of a lot of time. Um, and then also you get those tolerances down, and you know there's there's less things that can go wrong. Yeah. Um, my, my dad, when I was a kid, he made wooden toys and sold them at a market and, uh, he's still got all of his templates, which I'm dying to get my hands on because he put a lot of effort in, you know, way back when. Yeah. And I'm, uh, yeah, dying to get my hands on those because, yeah. yeah, should hopefully be able to. Yeah. You, you, some... you go, I suppose when you go back to high school, like I went to a tech high. Um, well, even if you walk, you join a woodworking club of sorts, which I have been in the past. Um, there's always they're always lined the walls are lined with templates, and you, you wonder like you know they're just shaped sticks and things. And but when you actually start putting them down onto a um, you know tracing out something for your own sake, or 
whatever reason, uh, it becomes evident it's really quite an important practice to have a template. Yeah. Yeah, so... Well, yeah, I was just going to say, in your case, if you're doing multiples of something, templates would be the way to go. Yeah. be the only way to go. It'd save you time, save you money, everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think, yeah. So, I would then, if I was you, I would then start looking into, um, because you can do all that in SketchUp. And, uh, and run it that way. You've got a computer, you've got a computer brain. Well, I don't know about a computer brain, maybe an Atari. <laughs> <laughs> now you're showing your age. I've got a Commodore, what is it? Commodore 64. 64. 64. <laughs> that was my first one. Yeah, and I the used big to buy, 128. Yeah, yeah, and I used to buy the, uh, the computer magazines and they'd have all the codes in the back, all the yeah. programs, you'd, you'd sit there typing all the, the machine code or the, vision, or the basic code or everything, and it still wouldn't work. I I cheated at high school in computer science next to someone I failed. So that that wasn't Steve good Jobs, was it? It could have been, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be in good stead for the future. <laughs> but so, yeah, no. Look, uh, as far as that's concerned, I mean, you look at people like, um, and I'll, I'll mention his name again, Dale. You know, Wacky Woodworks. All his videos are on making this off the cuff. It's in the uh, in the headline. So, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you know. I, that's, I reckon that's a good way to do things, yeah, you know, yeah. like, because woodwork is supposed to be fun. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I have fun in this workshop, but if I have to make something for a customer and I've got to, I've got to be rigid and I've got to, it takes a, it becomes a job then, doesn't yeah. it? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel about it. I, I remember you making the, uh, that particular job and, uh, you know, for the building closet. And you, you come up, I think we were talking online, and you come up with a jig that was to help you with the angle for the, the shoe rack. Mm. You know, and that, that, was a, that wasn't a sketch-up moment. No. That was a deliberate thought process that went into saying, this really needs to have this to make that quicker, you yeah. know, make mm. this job more efficient. And that worked. It did. It took me longer to make that jig mm. than it did because it was for the, uh, the shoe rack. That's right. I needed all the, the racks to be on a certain angle. Yep spaced a certain uh, distance apart. And uh, like I said, it took me probably four hours to nut it all out because I needed a left and a right hand side. Yeah. And then when I finally got it done and I started, it took me half an hour to make the shoe rack. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Ryan, just probably, can you describe what's the biggest project you made and compare that to perhaps some of the small projects t you made? And Cool. Tell us, tell us what's more difficult. I find sometimes the small projects are a bigger headache. Yeah, yeah, I mean, without even, I mean, I, I'm struggling to think of the biggest and the smallest. Yeah. But without a doubt, it is those small ones. Yeah. That you know make me sweat. Um, you know, uh, like Dana talk about check square, check square. Sometimes when you're working on a big pallet project. Mm. You've got allowances that mm. mean that, you know, yeah. it maybe doesn't matter if it's a little bit out of square. Yeah. But then all of a sudden you're trying to make this little jewelry box mm. with, you know, mitered corners, mm. and yeah, yeah, everything comes down to that exact uh, that exact millimeter. Yeah. Um. Oh, but yeah, generally the the bigger stuff is easier. Yeah. Because there's there's sort of. Uh, you got it's, margin for error. Yeah, mm. it's it's easy to hide. Yeah. When something is maybe a little, you know, a mill out here yeah. and there, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I mean, one of the one of the more difficult things, and and which is where I'm having to make multiples and should make templates, mm. is stools. Yeah. So I've been making a lot of stools, and you know, getting those right so they're comfortable, but then also that they do yeah. sit. You know, square. Yeah. Um, you know, I just had a thought, and my head hurts. <laughs> if you need templates for stools and stuff like that, I can cut them out on my CNC machine. You better well, go and build it by Chris on them. If you're not going to uh, add to the <laughs> conversation, add. I know, I know. Yeah. Might as well go. Yeah. But yeah. also, yeah. and we might maybe this is for a, fu a di very different episode. But these stools are quite unique. I don't know if. You, you know much about these stools. I think you might have heard something about these particular stools, but what are they? They are for steaming your vagina. 
A big what? Hello? This is a uh, friend. So, so yeah, this Hello, is like a family, family show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, family. Uh, uh. They, it, they are called vaginal steaming stools. This is a thing. It's a thing. Oh, God, Chris. I've been under a rock too long, mate. Look, my vagina Please has not felt better. <laughs> but, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm lost for words. Yeah. I actually don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I'll do. I, I shouldn't talk about it because we'll derail the episode, maybe. But is this a take two moment? We might derail the episode. <laughs> this is already crashing. Already... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said the word vagina, it just. Well, it's like, but you know, like these. I'm making a lot of these stools. Yeah. Right. Customers want them. Is that, a th- is that a thing? So women want their vaginas steamed? Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, I can go into detail. No, please. If you, oh, well, I mean, it's not, you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, customer came to me. Can you make one of these? And I said, sure, but what is it, <laughs> right? Because it's a stool with a hole in it. And they told me what it was for. Yeah. And, you know, sure, I can, I can make a stool with less seating area, you know, <laughs> with a hole in the middle. And I did, and I made what I considered to be a very, very nice stool. Yeah. And uh, because of that, word got around in the steaming <laughs> circuit. Circuit? Yeah. And people come from all around. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Do you, you know how we had funny looks when we opened the door before, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think there was something... Uh, That's trendy. nothing compared to what no, the, this the, is, the this bomb is, just dropped now. No. This could send our rating on this show through <laughs> the bloody roof. Or? Or we're going down to Hades. <laughs> Not for kids, this content. <laughs> No, well, the, the, yeah, who, how they use it is different. That's why. Oh, but, <laughs> but uh, like, I'm building one at the moment. Actually, I'm building another two, but uh, one of them is to go to South Australia. That explains a little. Well, we shouldn't. Well, not really, no. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a thing. I'm happy to have that market. Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah. We could call you. Um, so I made two in 2019. Tour which I put on Insta, and James and a few others, and I thought you'd seen it. I have seen it. Yeah, yeah give me a hard time about it. And I've got a build video that I keep meaning to put on YouTube that I haven't yet. Mm. I'll have to do that. Censorship. Get, get your phone out. I want to look at this store. <laughs> you should see the new ones. Do you, do you want to see them? Yeah. I'll flash a picture up on the... Don't flash. What are you flashing? I, I actually... I'll, Put a picture up on the screen. Well, what look, before we look at photos here... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll get to that. Yeah, we will. We will. I'll have to show you. <laughs> um, on those photos. We, <laughs> I, 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 I was sort of going to lean... <laughs> I can't get... I can't work now, Chris. I was looking at your workbench. <laughs> I was going to say, does your vagina need to be steamed? Something has to happen. Something has to give. But <laughs> you've used... <laughs> you've used parquetry. Haven't you? A, a type of parquetry when you, with your workbench, or you've got uh, different shapes? Is yep. That, is that right? I haven't used parquetry, so mm. so uh, my workbench, yep. um, and uh, way back to when I first wanted to just make stuff, a uh, mate of mine is a stair builder. Yeah. Uh, makes beautiful stairs, uses some of the finest timbers, but their offcuts yep. are all just weird shapes and yeah. they can't do anything with them and I said I'll yeah I'll give it a go and so I just took yep. these yeah these shapes yep. and sort of you know put them uh, randomly tried to have some even gaps yep um don't talk about gaps <laughs> can I can, can I just ask one question splinters do they, do they get splinters in the vagina well, on my workbench well, you know, I have a sander. Yeah, I get that. But after you steam the seat for a while, then the fibres stand up and... I build to a very high quality. You'd want to. <laughs> but also, they put towels on. Oh, okay. All so right. you're saying you, can, you want to start a podcast called Sam Once Wax Twice or something? <laughs> is, that, is that probably where <laughs> we can have specialised content, Chris, for an alternative market? 
No. Um, Measure once, steam twice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I don't drag us down you know, <laughs> that that road. Oh, I'm just <laughs> lost. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. No, no splinters, but towels. It's yeah. All right, so we'll, we'll see a picture. I'll, I'll I'll pop a picture up on the screen of what these things look like. Hey, and look, apparently you don't just yeah. bloke, blokes can do it as well. Yeah, I know a few. No, I'm not even going to go down that road. Yeah, was this was this an idea coming out of Sweden or something? <laughs> no, apparently, uh, like ancient Japan or something. Really? Yeah. They used to do this. Kumiko. That explains a lot, no? no. Uh, anyway, it's <laughs> it's so, a it's a niche market. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it sort of revolves around our subject matter today, uh, SketchUp or Sketchy. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, we went off topic you, a bit there. I'm How do you sorry. It? Do, you, do you actually use pen and paper? Are uh, we, we, we going to talk about the workbench or do we continue with the... No, uh, I think we'll talk about the we're, workbench. We're done with that. Yeah. Let's, um, right, let's, carry on. let's move on. Yeah. I think uh, we've done yeah. this to death now. Yeah. I just need a... <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I don't care what was on this, but... <laughs> strangest thing. But really? Yeah. No, really. It's the strangest thing. It's a little thing. Exactly. Thank you very much, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so pen and paper versus SketchUp. 50-50, what are we at? Yeah, I would use SketchUp because someone else has sketched up something for me to follow. Okay. I, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a user of that software, but I'm not a designer. And you reckon you're going to go down that road one day? You're going to learn how to use SketchUp? I definitely see the benefit. It's just about dedicating that time to learning it. Let me tell you that it's like I said, the learning curve is pretty steep when you begin, but then everything just it'll click. It'll click and just it'll be easy, and you'll think, how have I ever done without this? Yep. So I'll give it a go. Or I'll be struggling, and I'll think, geez, if Chris has figured this out, sure. Yeah, oh, you know, I'm no yeah. genius, so. <laughs> but I, I don't make vaginal seats either. Anyway. <laughs> We move on. <laughs> we have digressed. This we have a little bit. This has just gone Sorry. to hell. This <laughs> one, this, this show. Oh. Um, so, what are we doing next week? Well, Chris, certainly has been one interesting show, mate. I've uh, yes. We, 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 I can't say that I haven't learnt anything today. No, no. <laughs> And um, after the show, when we're back in the pavilion having a couple of uh, froppies, we might have to have a little bit of a look into the design that Ryan puts into mm. his um, mm. classic pieces. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> thanks, Ryan. You, you've, been, you've been a star today, mate. We, we appreciate that yes. you've been on the show. Second time for you. Yes. So, um, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you've got the green ribbon now. You're working Where? your way up to the blue one. Uh, Chris, I'll, I'll nail one to your chest. It's in the, in the mail. Room. It's coming in the mail, isn't it? Yeah. Chris is going to see and see it for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, look, I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's been great. It's been great just to catch up and yeah. see you guys, you oh. know. Um, even, you know, quietly going to the pub and yep. having a cold one and a meal yeah. was nice. So, nice, yep. uh, yeah. always up for that. Yep. So, um, yeah, Chris, I think uh, this show has been interesting, you know, like, and, and we say to. Please, if you leave a comment and you would like to hear uh, about a topic, subject, uh, let us know about that. Leave it down below. And that helps us uh, plan the show for the future. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's All you need is a dress now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we did plan Spin something. the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about it anymore. Can't, but, um, take, can't take too long. The slow cooker's on. <laughs> so we, we are planning. We're in the, in the stages. Settle down, Hoss. We're in the stages of uh, trying to find, not find, but uh, reach out to a couple of more um, uh, potential partners. Thank you to Hamaru and... Um, Nath. Nath. And Nath. Hamaru. Yeah, you always say that. I do. Get on his website, buy everything he's got. Yep. And uh, hopefully a timber merchant that you know about might be uh, in the saddle with us as well. So yeah, that'll looking, be a good one. Yeah, looking forward to that. Mm. Now, what is going to happen next week? Last week I had that premonition. Someone would knock on that door, it happened. Hoss, mm. what? <laughs> Can't wipe the smile off your face. The big fella's, he's just, he's just ecstatic, mate. You have no idea yeah. how long I've waited for this one. 
Yeah. It's not a, a fin on his back, it's a hair standing out. He's so happy. I am so happy to be able to say that we're going to have Ainsley on the show next week. I am That's cool. overjoyed. Beyond overjoyed. I'm quietly satisfied and, and I'm looking forward to it very much. If you don't get more excited about it, I'm going to kill you with his vaginal stool and bury in the backyard. I'm not being Kev, mate. He was the only one who got excited. That seems a bit rough. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. seems a bit far. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited that Ainsley's going to be on the show. Not enough, though, no. for you. I don't oh, want to get murdered. I am overjoyed. You I break his wait. stool as well. I'll make him another one. Yeah. No, well, mate, you, can't, you can't afford it. Right. <laughs> yeah, so. True, <laughs> true. Yeah, but uh, yes, no, definitely Ainsley's going to be on the show next week. Please tune in. Um, she's fantastic, the, yeah. the work she does, so and we're going to have a bit of a chat with her. That's it. And if you haven't already, give us a, uh, a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you like this show. Uh, we might lose a few this week, but yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll bounce I'll... back, we promise. Um, <laughs> thanks, Brian. Uh, if you hit the, uh, what do you call it? The, the subscribe, subscribe button, button. Yep. and that bell that, you know, goes ding dong when we're on, um, it'll let everyone, it'll be a happy world, all right? So, without further ado, I'm going to sign off by saying hooroo. And I'll uh, sign off in my customary way by saying bye for now. See you later. Is it filming? Yeah, it's filming. Whenever you want, just come in and just knock on the door. Yeah, when, not, not now. now. Oh, <laughs> you do whenever you want. Taking you through for the next two hours. One hour? 30 minutes. Where did you get two <laughs> oh, hours? Yeah, I'm thinking of other podcasts. Oh. Um, so what are we doing next week? Well, Chris, according to the show notes, uh, we have a special guest, and I, you know, I, I would like you to introduce it because uh, it's it's something you've been waiting for. Esteem, you always stuff this up. Oh yeah, we just do a blank face. Blank face, and then we cut into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're still rolling. <laughs>